Hi, this is Justice. In this video, I'm going to be talking about setting up Rebel 5 with Tablet Pro. Now, Tablet Pro is my software, which is what my YouTube channel is about. And this is something that I've been working on for a long time and working with Rebel to make the tablet experience so much better than it's ever been before. With Rebel 4.1 and later, they now support simultaneous pen and touch, which is awesome. So let's take a look at what is the differences between desktop mode and tablet mode inside of Rebel 5. So we're going to go to Edit, Preferences, and if we scroll down in general, we're going to see the desktop and tablet mode preferences. Okay, so here you can have under the cursor, in the last position, and in the center of the screen. So let's go ahead, we're going to switch to tablet mode, and we're going to look at each of these individually. Okay, so here we're going to switch to tablet mode, and now if I press a keyboard shortcut, It's going to open up underneath my cursor when I have that mode selected. Okay, let's choose in the last position. So here, let's move it here. And in the center of the screen. I tend to work in the center of the screen. This is how I have mine set up in my preference here in the center of the screen. All right, preferences. And then here we have show only one panel at once while in tablet mode. So here I can do F5, F4, F6, and those are stacking on top of each other. If I enable this, then when I open the next panel, the last one closes. And I like that feature a lot. That's how I have mine set up. I thought it was a very intelligent addition. All right, always undock the panel instead of hiding when Tablet Pro mode is off. I'm going to turn that off. We're going to exit Tablet mode. And now when I press a keyboard shortcut, what you're going to notice is that over here on the left side, we're hiding and showing the Properties panel. Now if we go back over here into Preferences and we turn this on, now what happens is this undocks instead of hiding when you press the keyboard shortcut. All right, let's go ahead and jump back over here. And that's fine when tablet mode is turned on. You don't see that, but you do see that in desktop mode. So I have a laptop studio. If you have a Surface Pro or you have uh, some of the different two-in-one tablets, touchscreen devices that, that have Microsoft Windows on it, you're going to want to try Windows 8 plus pointer input. This is a setting that you need in order to get the simultaneous pen and touch to work correctly. Let's take a look at how this looks with Tablet Pro Run. So we're going to go down here in my taskbar. I'm going to tap on the pen tool icon. You can also press Win Shift Z as a keyboard shortcut. This will open this up. What we're going to do is we're going to press Tab, and you're going to see that everything hides on the screen. All right, so let's turn pigments on, and then let's open the color wheel. And let's actually let's open the swatch. Let's move it over here. Let's add a couple quick colors, switch to the Express Oils, and let's do a Paint and Blend, and let's increase the brush size here a little bit, and just blend. And so what you can see here is that we have control over all the shortcuts that we choose to have, choose to use. And so these all have tool tips on it. You can see, you can see here shift for straight lines. This is the layers panel. This is color picker. This is number five, the erase tool. This one is the alt mix color tool. And that's this one right here, which is X. So if I want to tap here, oops, let's pick. Uh -huh. This needs editing. Okay, let's do that again. There we go. And so what this is going to do is this is going to incrementally, if you look right here, right here, you're going to see this incrementally working towards the color that we are selecting. So if I want something a little bluer, I can go over here and tap. And you can adjust how much 
this increments over towards um, the color that you're clicking. Really cool, really nice feature. Okay, so here, this is what the artist pad does. It gives you your keyboard shortcuts on the screen. So in order to get this installed, you can go over to the website, tabletpro.com slash install, and you'll see a quick little slideshow here, and just click here on the download button, and that'll walk you through the install process. It takes just a few minutes. When you're done with that, go down here, and you're going to double click on the pen tool icon, and then find Rebel, and double click on it. You can also, when Rebel is open, just single click right here, and that's going to launch the artist pad for Rebel. If you want to change what the side button does, you can choose over here to do that. Make sure you click apply and then have fun inside of Rebel. This is such a beautiful, wonderful setup. It's how I use Rebel all the time and I feel like it's so much faster and more comfortable for me. To close it, just click right here, close, or you can click on the little white mouse icon and that will toggle on and off the artist pad for you. All right, you guys, I hope you found that helpful. If you have questions, put it in the comment section. I'll check those out and try and reply as quickly as possible. All right, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.